Hey guys, quick overview on an AI campaign I launched using Clay and using Apollo, which is pretty much of a classic. So we take the data from Apollo, we export it um, into Clay here, and you get uh, these huge tables, you enrich the data a little bit, but it's not uh, needed super much. Because what we did after, we pressed enrich data and we use the Claygent. Claygent, you need to use your own API key. So I connected mine. We used GPT 3.5 because GPT 4 was too costly. And here's the prompt that uh, we wrote to actually get the output that I'll show you uh, right now. Let's start with the output. I think we'll bring, bring less confusion. So this is a crypto company. Crypto is about to hit the uh, bull market next year. So I'm accepting these customers nowadays, uh, legit ones that is. And CoinChange, one of my clients, they have a very good solution. Basically it's stable coin yield. So you can make dollars on your USD uh, T if it goes up and yes, it tends to go up. Uh, so very cool product that they have. So that makes my life easy when it comes to selling them uh, to other crypto exchanges. And basically here we want uh, to just tell the company why it could be potentially interested in our solution. So we need a bit of reasoning. We need the agent to go on their website, uh, check what the company does, check what uh, CoinChange does and go Venn diagram between both, like how uh, CoinChange could benefit their company. So there's a bit of reasoning needed there. That's why we tell the clay agent to go on their website and uh, with their first name, their company, their SEO description, keywords and description, which is all data that you get on Apollo to write something. Uh, again, with GPT 3.5, at first we couldn't get it to write decent stuff because GPT 3.5 is, is less intelligent than GPT 4, but eventually we got to something um, and that is the output. You can also check like the, the reasoning uh, behind the why, okay? So the results, the reasoning, coin change DeFi uh, yield API allows customer da, da, da. and then it, it searches coin switch also um, so yeah um, so basically that's the result here and we will take that list right we will export it um, and once we export it we import it in into Apollo and we will uh, implement a custom tag so basically in custom tag you can find in by going in the settings show you that and you go in custom custom fields right custom fields i think there's a bug here because it should show but anyway you put the custom fields in our case we said uh that it would be GPT would be interested. Actually, it's already there. GPT would be interested. You put multi line, you save. And once you add these contacts back into Apollo, um, there will be the GPT would be interested as uh, the front of the header, the top of the header. It's like an Excel sheet, right? And every single contact will get that GPT written line here. The first name is there. Um, and then there's a call to action. And then the goal was to for GPT to write the body, which it did. Um, I expect that to work like better than average. You can see here that there's a bunch that are still loading. This will cost my own API key 15 bucks VS. If I would have used GPT-4, it starts to be expensive, 150 bucks for 3K contacts-ish. Um, it's still loading, right? Like it's done like 300 uh, yet or 400. And it's been 30 minutes, so this should take a while. This should take like a couple of hours uh, to complete. Um, and also it will need some cleanup, okay, before we do the uh, export. So... The, there's a guy, uh, Diego and their team, uh, he will do some cleanup. There's some formatting options, fortunately, in Clay, which is a tool that I very much recommend. I use Clay, I use Persona nowadays. For data, I tend to use Apollo. 
uh, contact out um, Ample Market. Uh, but yeah, this campaign should yield some pretty decent results and thought I'd share that with you.